Yo, what's going on, y'all? This combo breaking 99 back on the fight front once again. And um, I started not to do a video on this fight, but I say, well, you know, this is, this is a, supposedly a major fight. You know, it's a Canelo versus Rocky Fielding. Um, I'm just glad this fight is done. Not much to say on this fight. Canelo won in the fashion that I felt he would. I knew he was going to knock this guy out with a body shot, Liam Smith style. You know, definitely fighting the longer, taller, not as skilled Rocky Fielding. So Canelo's going to have a field day with the body shots. You know, Canelo. This side of uh, Miguel Cotto is probably one of the better, ha has one of the better left hooks to the body in the game in, you know, in the past like 10, 15 years. Um, already outgunned from round one to two. He just took a, you know, just took a straight beat down from Canelo, got dropped. Uh, didn't even look like he was really in the fight. This fight was the pace Canelo wanted to fight at. And he, was getting, he was definitely letting you know that there's levels to this. And Fielding didn't have any answer for it. You know, he couldn't fight long. He couldn't fight tall because he didn't have the power. He didn't have the tools to face somebody like Canelo. You know, again, he is at 168. But, you know, let's get this, you know, shoot, let's get it out and over. Let's, look at, let's get our facts right, man. You know, he isn't the best super middleweight in the game. You know, he isn't the best super middleweight right now, even though he holds a belt. You know, that, that probably goes to Callum Smith right now. So, again, Rocky Field didn't really belong in the ring with him, man. Like I said, Canelo, the ideal style to finish this guy off with the longer torso. Just prime target, prime real estate. That body got tore up, man. But what this fight really was, I just call it what it is. It was just a showcase fight. It was Canelo's first fight on the zone as part of an 11-fight deal over five years. So, you know, they had to go ahead and give him an easy touch to close out the year. It wasn't like he was going to take a hard fight. So now that we got that odd number out, now we got 10 fights to focus on. So from here... What are those 10 fights going to be, man? So once you really look at this situation, like the first fight, of course, that we need that we need is Daniel Jacobs and May. But other than that, like three hundred million dollars, like which really what's really a big fight from here? You know, other than that, like what other fight is really worth thirty six million a fight now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, of course, there's a Gennady Golovkin fight out there, but Gennady Golovkin, he's not even on uh, the zone right now. We don't even know if he's going to come over here to Eddie Hearn and, you know, take this third fight. That's an option out there. But is that really worth like a 30 million dollar fight? But I mean, deal's been made. So he's going to be getting that amount of money anyway. But I think at 10 fights, he should have been, he should at least give us like six A level or B level guys. You know, they should all be big level championship fights. You know, no, no tune up fights in the middle here. I mean, we already kind of got the showcase showcase on him with the zone with this fight, you know, um, this was a fight where he moves up in weight, wins the belt, so it kind of showcases him better. So when they present him now, it's going to be Canelo, the three division, you know, world champion. You know that the guy who just who holds two belts in uh, two weight classes now. So that's how it's going to look. So every time they 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 promote him to fight Daniel Jacobs, it's going to be a three division world champion Canelo. So that's how you know that, that's basically what this fight was. It was just kind of like a showcasing fight, man. But um, all in all, man. You know, Daniel Jacobs, he's the logical guy to fight next, you know, move back down to 160 where it makes sense because he hasn't really, proved. you know, Canelo, though I'm a fan of his style, he didn't really prove that he is the best 160, uh, best 160 pounder out there, man. Especially when you've got a guy like Daniel Jacobs who holds the title. He's beaten um, three undefeated fighters in a row. So he definitely has a good argument for that. While Canelo, he had two hard fights with, um, you know, Triple G, which, both fights were questionable to people, you know, so he still hasn't really proved that he is the best uh, middleweight. So this is a good fight to kind of prove that now. Daniel Jacobs versus Canelo in May. But yeah, man, um, other than that, like I said, throwaway fight, you know, that's all this was. But uh, let me know what you guys think next. What fight should Canelo take next? Daniel Jacobs, right? That That's the only fight that, that makes sense, right? But uh, yeah, that's all I got on this one. Combo Breaker 99, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Jab Effect as well on YouTube. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Peace.